when I argue that you are what you love, what I'm really saying is that we're liturgical creatures, right? We are shaped and aimed by the rhythms and rituals that we give ourselves over to. As a parent, I have seen children are ritual animals. Children love tradition. In our house, if you do anything twice, it becomes a tradition. And I, what has struck me is how much youth ministry has oddly failed to appreciate this. And uh, youth ministry has been an odd combination of, on the one hand, sort of entertaining young people to keep them in the building, and then imagining discipleship as basically equipping them with the right ideas or moral rules. What I do in You Are What You Love is try to rethink what youth ministry looks like if you take the spiritual power of habit seriously. I don't think young people are looking to be liberated from ritual. I think they're looking for liberating rituals. I think they're looking for ways of life and communities of practice that let the gospel seep into them. Now, the risk, of course, is this takes time. You can't be looking for short-term results if you want deep formation of young people in Christ. But I think that is the great risk we should be willing to take to actually shape and form mature Christians down the road. Appreciating the spiritual power of habit has really changed what I expect from youth ministry. I don't want the church to entertain my kids. And I don't just need them to help them memorize the catechism. I want the church to invite them to love the right things in the right way. And I know that that's gonna take practice. Mm -hmm.